Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie Blind. All of that alliteration. In the last episode, we woke up to our sister being kidnapped by a witch from a fairy tale because all she speaks is rhymes. In this episode, it is time to begin the first world of the game, Mumbles Mountain, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills, and I'll explain. Alright, so, let's see what we got around here. We got a bunch of stuff here. So let me see, I guess we could view the totals. I guess that goes over everything that we need to collect in this world. So we have 100 notes, it looks like. And we have 10 jiggies and 2 honeycombs. Okay, so I'm guessing these are the notes we're going to have to collect. Pretty cool. I'm a note. One of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. I have no idea what that means. What we have? Who are you? Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. Okay. So we have to save five Jinjos to get a Jiggy. So that reminds me of the eight red coin missions in Mario 64 where you have to get eight red coins for a star. And I assume that this is kind of like 100 coins. I know I'm going to be comparing this to Mario 64 and or Donkey Kong 64 quite a bit. Because that's just what it reminds me of. Because it's so similar. And so far, it's been a pretty fun game. Even though I've only played like not that much time of it yet. So I guess I won't really know. Can I kill you? Okay. I can kill you. And okay, backflips for days. Alright, so... I, should, I wish I could zoom in into like first person view. Is there like a way to do that? Okay, I pressed Y to do that. There's something I wanted to check out. Yeah, there's a... Looks like a honeycomb thing over there that I do want to see if I can get. So let's go over here first and see what we can find. Hopefully some cool stuff, of course. Since this is the first world, I imagine it's going to be pretty easy. Like over there, there's a freaking Jiggy right off the bat that I want to get. So I want to see if I can do that. Now, is there a way I could just jump down right into that honeycomb? If I just get enough uh, space, I can maybe just jump right down to it. And sure enough, there we go. So I saw in this world that there are two honeycombs. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. That seems very convenient, actually, and I think I do want to pay a visit to him. There are three moves to get here, so I definitely want to give that, keep that in mind. Now, I did see a Jiggy, and I kind of want to collect that first, so I might as well go over here and collect it. Now, the one thing with these collect-a-thons is that there's so much to do at once, and there's you just kind of have to figure out what you want to do first, or else you're going to get completely overwhelmed and get lost right off the bat. So I'm guessing these molehills are where we can get our moves, so why the heck not? Can I... There we go. You can press the X button. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press the right or left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Gulp! I don't like the sound of that, Banjo! Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Okay, so... I jump and I press L trigger. Okay, so that's my ground pound. Okay, that is what I was looking for this entire time. So that's pretty sweet. Now, one thing I noticed about this game is that it auto saves, just like, of course, Donkey Kong 64. So I don't know how I'm going to tackle that in terms of recording. Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. Okay, I guess I'll have to figure that out at some point. But yeah, and there's an enemy here. Pretty cool. Got rid of him right off the bat. But yeah, this game has an autosave feature, which means... Oh, hello there. You must be a Jinjo. There's our second out of five. Pretty sweet. I'm guessing ground pounding these will allow us to... What the heck is that? An extra life. That's pretty cool. And what is here? Ooh, a nice Jiggy. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the Witch's Lair. Alright, so these are the equivalent of our stars, it so seems. You collect all of them. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Okay. And we have a skull. 
Me Mumbo's token. Used for Mumble magic. Alright, and I see up here, another Jiggy. Wow, are all Jiggies going to be this easy to get when we're going through the game? I highly doubt it, and I really hope that's not the case, because that would be really silly. Now, down here, I do see another Jiggy. So I might as well go down and collect that. Man. So we have three already. Jeez, man, we are definitely making the progress. So as I was saying a million years ago, um, I don't know how I'm going to tackle recording or when to stop because I don't know exactly when I'm going to be able to since the game auto saves. And of course, I get another skull, I get another Jinjo, and okay, I can get up here to get these notes. Now let me go ahead and take a quick gander of what I missed. I missed more notes. Okay, well we have to find uh, Bottles, it's, I think is his name, to get our moves that allows us to go up slopes. That seems to be a really broken mechanic that I definitely want to invest my time to finding. But, but of course that goes with looking through the level first, so... Go away, leave my honeycombs alone! What is this? Grr! This conga's tree! Me hit bear with oranges! Does he have to hit the switches, I think? Don't touch Konga's blocks! Yeah, that is what I have to do. Pretty easy stuff. And there we go! Grr! Clever bear find Konga's gold. And there is another Jiggy! I've only been playing this game for like, five minutes, six minutes in this episode so far. Chimpy hungry. Wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Okay, how do I feed Chimpy? Can I like... Can I hit you? Can I like... Can I like... I can climb. Oh, okay, I didn't even know I can... Okay. So that I could take this to you and I can give you a thing. Jeez, I, okay. <laughs> that works. Oh, Chimpy like Congo's orange. Chimpy help fat Baron Birds. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is pure gold. My goodness, and there is yet another Jiggy! I really hope the rest of the game is not this easy. I mean, this is the first world, so I guess it's the introductory world to everything we'll be doing throughout the game. But my god! Alright, give me a move, please, because I found your spot. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey! Sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press B instead and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh. Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Bird brain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the left stick to aim while you are crouching. Egg sighting. Oh my god. What a pun. And you get 50 to start with. Hmm. Your energy is a bit little low. I'll fill it up for you. Okay. I don't think I took any damage. But sure. And we have another skull. Pretty sweet. And we have... Well, it looks like a switch. I guess we'll ground pound and see what it does. Oh, there's a Jiggy! Outside of the lair! I'm gonna, again, quote Mario 64 and say that's one of the secret stars. But I'm just dumb. Alright, so what do we have now? We need to find that last move. And I might as well... Ch How many notes do I have? 45? So we are making good progress. I don't know where else we haven't explored yet. Uh, I don't know about this. Uh, let's see, is there anything I can go into here with? Yeah, sure enough. What is even in here? Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower! Okay, I can't... I can, can I get that skull at least? No? Can I do anything here yet? Maybe I need Kazooie's, or not, well, not Kazooie's power. The, the move to go up slopes. And I'm still not knowing where that is. And I don't know what this is. We Juju Mumbo's Totem Pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. I guess the eggs? Can I shoot them into your face? Uh, we can try. That is not the move. Do I have to... Okay, that shoots from behind. Okay, the Y button shoots the eggs. So do I have to line them up and shoot? Yep. 
Sure enough, and of course they get faster and even more faster. Okay. There we go, and one more to go. And there we go. Cool, and we got ourselves a beautiful Jiggy. I will take it. So there we go, six out of ten so far. Now I haven't checked in here yet. So let's go ahead and pay a visit to this guy here. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, Putt Boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign, bring more. All right, so good to know. There are notes in here, which is also something else worthy. Now I do see stuff up here. Can, I can go up here. Is there just eggs, or can I go and see what else is up here? Is there anything else up here besides eggs? Doesn't look like that is the case. So I guess we're just going to hightail it and find some more mumbo tokens so we can transform into something, I suppose. Is there anything behind his hut? Because I don't think I bothered to look. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now I can go over here still, because I did miss a few notes on the way down, I believe. Oh yeah, I missed quite a bit. So I definitely want to pick those up before anything, because notes are nice. And they open doors. Yippee, you've collected f enough notes to break the first note door spell. Okay, I have no idea what he is referring to or what he is talking about. But I guess, I guess that's good. Now I still have yet to find uh, some more mumbo tokens yet. Yeah, I still have to find that move that allows me to go up slopes. Maybe I'll find it. I have no idea where else I haven't explored. I guess I could check that out now. I mean, there all oh, this stuff's way up there. I don't think I even bothered to look at first. So let me go ahead and do that now while I'm here. Uh, I believe I can go this way. Yeah, I don't think I... Okay, cameras. Really odd camera transitions there. Holy crap. Yeah, I did not even bother to go up here yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, and there's a Jiggy! And, of course, there's a new move. So let's go ahead and see what move this is. The Talent Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left trigger. Continue to hold the right or left trigger while moving Kazooie around with the left stick. Go practice. Whoa, Banjo, there is nothing more I could teach you on this world. So I hold the right trigger, then press left. Oh! Oh! Look at that running speed, though! Oh my goodness, this looks so broken! And we can go up slopes with this. Holy crap, this is a broken mechanic. Holy crap. Alright. I'll take it. Alright, cool. And here we got ourselves another, uh, Jinjo. I always called him Banjo, but that's not his name at all. And here we have some more notes, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know where else we're missing besides... We still need to find more Mumbo tokens. Now, I don't know where I'm going to find more of those. Also, we have 85 notes out of 100, so we're making some serious progress right now. And here's another, uh, another Jinjo. Cool, so we have four, one more to go, and we will have a Jiggy in our hands. So I believe that makes seven. Pretty cool. Now, okay, I didn't even bother to check in these indents. Maybe there's a Mumbo token I missed? See, seriously, these camera transitions. Oh, yep, there is definitely a Mumbo token. So I need one more. One more will get me to where I can go transform, but I don't know what exactly that does yet, but I guess I'll find that out at some point. Now, since I have this move, I believe I can go inside here and move around on these slopes, which will give me another token. So this will make five. Oh, God. Okay. Can I not go up those slopes? Are those slopes too deep? Yeah, I, can't, I still can't get anything about that. But, of course, maybe transforming into something can help me. Probably. I mean, why else would you... I mean, use weak... The guy said you couldn't come in here, so I imagine we need to transform in order to progress. But now we have enough, so we can do it. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on score and press X to see Mighty Mumble Magic. I love alliteration so much. <laughs> Mighty Mumble Magic. Oh my god, we are gorgeous. 
mumble magic free to change back. You come when you're ready. Turn my bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumble practice needed. Cool. Alrighty, so now we are this, uh, this little termite thing, I guess. I don't know exactly what that entails, but we're gonna go and find out. I mean, we do match all the other, uh, termites. And yes, we can go up slopes as a termite, so that is perfect. And, wow, uh, do I have to jump over here? Oh god, I fell. Yep, that's, that's fun. Let's try that again, this time without the suck. I believe this is my first blind platformer on this channel too, now that I'm thinking more about it. Was well, surprisingly enough, it's pretty cool. Now if I can just get up here. Alright, now I have to make this jump. Perfect. And I can get up here. Excellent. And of course there's enemies. And of course I'm taking damage. Oh wait, is there four notes? Can I get these notes? One more. Perfect, we got 100 notes. You found all 100 notes in this world. Well done. Thank you, game. Thank you for appreciating my hardcore skills at getting 100 notes. Not too shabby. Alrighty then, so let's continue on to finding some more jiggies, I guess, since that is the, I guess, the ultimate goal here. And we can go all the way up, but I have no idea where this leads, but we're gonna find out. Let's get right on out. Oh. Get ourselves a nice little extra life. And I'm going to assume what going up here leads to, of course, a Jiggy for the spoils. There you go. We got 8 out of 10. Now, we are missing... Um, we are missing two more. And fall damage is not apparent in this game. Oh, there's a Jiggy right here! Did I really miss this? Okay. Hey, wait, let me see my totals real quick. That's a 9 out of 10, 1 out of 2. What am... Wait, did I get all the Jinjos without even realizing it? Okay. So now what is the final Jiggy in this level? I don't exactly know. Is there anything I can do as a termite? I don't know either. Um, so let me go ahead and go back to Mumbo and transform since I'm missing one more Jiggy and I have no idea where that is going to be. So I guess I will go and do that real quick. Okay, so while I am going around here now, I can see that I did collect five Jinjos. I don't remember when I did that, but obviously I don't pay attention to my surroundings at all. Now, where do I get this last Jiggy from? Is it... And I took a lot of damage. Since when? Is this guy the thing that leads to the next Jiggy? I don't think... I mean, he does throw t oranges at you, and I don't know... I mean, what's up here? Be safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. Oh, actually, I, bear t I beg to differ. Uh, let me go ahead... No! I want to shoot eggs at you, because that's implying... That is implying. Yar! Egg hurt Conga! Oh, I'm about to die. Can I hit you? There we go. He's gonna throw a orange and almost wreck me! Holy crap, he killed me! What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough! Alright, just take me to the beginning of the level. Does that do anything? Exactly? I still have all of my stuff. Does dying in this game have a penalty? That I don't know of? I don't know. It, all it did was bring me to the beginning of the stage. Or the level. Or the world. And you are murdering my face. What's with all this stuff again? Gwar! What? Shouldn't be hungry. Wants orange now. Fe Wait, what? I thought we just... We just did this. I Okay, that must be the penalty of dying. You get sad. You get really sad. And then you have to do all, pretty much everything all over again. So, I guess we'll do that. So 
but let's have this happen again. We are missing one more Jiggy and one more Honeycomb piece. Now, I don't know where the Honeycomb piece is, so we're going to have to be on the lookout for that. And you hurt me. I know I'm supposed to do something there. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do, but do I just have to go up here and shoot eggs at you? Am I supposed to dodge? I think I am supposed to dodge those. While well, I suck at this. <laughs> Alright, let's try one more good old time. Oh, okay, I hit him three times. Urgh, bear beat Conga. Me give prize to Bear. And there we go. We got ourselves the prize. Hot Dangy Kang. There we go. I believe that makes ten jiggies. Yeah, look at that, guys. We are completely done. Well, except we're missing the honeycomb piece. If I am correct, let's go ahead and view totals. Yeah, look at that. We've pretty much got everything except one uh, honeycomb piece. Now, I'm going to go ahead and keep looking for it because I haven't seen it. I don't know where it would be. I think I checked everywhere. Did I miss a spot? I feel like they're in really well-hidden spots that I haven't gone to look really hard for. Let me go ahead and see if I can somehow find it. Because I didn't see it anywhere. Uh, I guess I will... I mean, I feel like I've, I've explored almost the entire stage. What would I be missing? I don't know. I do need life, though. I do need some health, but I don't have that luxury. So... Maybe I could check behind... I don't think I went and checked thoroughly behind Mumbo's house here. Is there nothing back here at all? No? Hmm. Where could that stupid honeycomb piece be? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? How would you know that's even there? Look at that! How would you even know? Oh, let me tell you, you wouldn't. Okay, that's fine. Do I just have to do this and then get up here and... Yeah, there we go. There are two honeycomb pieces. Now, if I check my totals, I should have everything. Yeah, look at that, guys. And we've only been in here for 22 minutes and we just got everything. Does that mean we're done with this world? I think it does. But that's so weird. The... It's only one video to go through a world? I hope that's not the case with all other stages. Because that would be really dumb. But, who cares? We did it! Now, there is one more thing I need to address. And that is, that Jiggy up there. Maybe I can get that later? I have no idea. But, what do I do now? I think I've... Yeah, I did do everything in this stage, so I guess that marks the end of this episode, as well as the end of the first world. That's completely crazy. And I'm guessing we can go over here now, because we do have the ability to go up slopes. And everything comes together perfectly. So, we're just going to go ahead and stare at this beautiful picture of Gruntilda while I make my outro. So, next time on Banjo-Kazooie Blind, we're going to continue further through Gruntilda's lair and explore, maybe find the next world, maybe figure out something, I have no idea, and see what happens next. I'm really excited for this, you guys. You have no idea after this playing for the, through the first world, I want to play more. But of course, we got to wait till next time. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Thank you for interrupting me, Gruntilda. I will see you guys next time for some more Banjo-Kazooie Blind. See you guys then.